is Sonya Lene and welcome back to my channel. Today on Married Life Monday, we are talking about women proposing to men. Now, this topic suggestion was suggested by my girl Melissa from Feasting Girls. And if you don't know who Melissa is, ride on around the Feasting Girls and check her out. Now, if you have a topic suggestion, email me at sonyac at gmail.com and let me know what you would like to hear me talk about on Married Life Monday. Now, let's get into this women's proposing to men. Now, I have an opinion, but I am going to see what the streets is talking about. The streets meaning Google. So, I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to check out what they say about women proposing to men because a lot of times the statistics matter. And you know this is a different day, honey. You know, we have to look everything up on the internet. You know, we just can't just go throwing our opinion out like that. But anyway, I'm going to check it out. And then once I check that out, then I'm going to give my opinion, okay? It may not be the popular opinion, but it's mine, okay? And it's just a personal thing. You know, I'm never a hater. And anything that I say on this channel, it has nothing to do with the general public. It just has to do with me, okay? It's my opinion. And, you know, I'm no marriage counselor. I'm just a wife. Who has almost 13 years of experience and I love being married. I have ups and I have downs in my marriage. More ups than downs, thank God. Okay, I'm married to a wonderful man who loves to take charge and take care of his woman. Okay, so I'm happy. But anyway, so let's go to brides.com. And it has an article in it about women proposing to men. All right. So it says attitudes towards women proposing are shifting. So it's time we start asking. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, let's just let's just read it. Guess y'all know what my opinion is. Okay. When it comes to who should propose, many people still follow the traditional model where men do all of the heavy lifting. Surveys have shown that women proposed in only around 5% of heterosexual married couples. And sure, it's a tradition. Something that is very important to a lot of people. But proposing is a huge decision, one that can shape the rest of your life. So why would 95% of women who presum presumably want to get married just wait around for it to happen perhaps it's because women are still ostracized for breaking free from the traditional relationship norm and i have to agree uh partially okay i have to agree partially with that because a lot of times women are put in a box a lot of women are put in a box we as women are put in a box um, it's like women are supposed to do this and women are supposed to do that and they're not supposed to do this and they're definitely not supposed to do that. Okay. So, you know, I don't like those boxes. I step out of them on purpose, regardless to what anybody has to say. Now, when it comes to, uh, women proposing to men, the reason why my, uh, opinion is a no for me is because women, it's not, uh, it has nothing to do with the traditions, which tradition sucks sometimes, okay? And we do have to break free of some traditions. And women who propose, hats off to you because you are a strong woman. I'm not that strong. Now, personally, it's a no for me because women, we fall faster. We um, commit sooner than men a lot of times and so if you uh, it, there you can have a man in your life who loves you very much but may just not be ready to get married and a lot of times if you take that lead role and you decide to get married and you well you decide to ask him to marry you he will probably say yes why because he loves you and he don't want to lose you but he'll probably say yes because he, he, you know, he, he loves you. But that doesn't mean that he's ready to get married. So, um, a lot of times waiting for a man to propose. Now, it shouldn't take him forever. You know, I always say this. I ain't never been nobody girlfriend for five years, ten years. 
if I mean, well, five years maybe, but ten years? No. I'm not gonna be your girlfriend that long because it don't take that long to figure it out for real, for real. If you're not ready, mm, mm, I ain't gonna say we need to break up, but we probably need to break up. But anyway, <laughs> it's just my opinion. Don't take this as law because I know a lot of people who have been in relationships for a very, very long time and are not married, okay? Uh, it's just not my thing. You know, I, I'm a person who loves commitment. I, I deal better with commitment because I feel like if a person can make a commitment, they can make a solid decision. You don't have to worry about, you know, whether they, which way the wind blows or which way they going or anything like that. You know who they are. You know that they can make a decision when you need a person to do something. If they can make a commitment, they can make a decision to do right, okay? That's just my personal thought, okay? So don't take it as law. You know, I'm not a marriage counselor. I've already said that, okay? I'm not a licensed professional, okay? I'm just a person with a little bit of experience. That's it, okay? So women, we fall. We fall fast and we fall hard. And sometimes we just have to be patient, that's my opinion. We have to be patient and let the man be ready. Now, if you if you guys are talking, I'm not saying don't talk about marriage because it needs to be discussed. Because if you're talking about it and he don't sound, you know, you and you eight, nine, ten years into the relationship, and he still don't sound like he may propose or he may, you know, do anything, or y'all may get married, you may not need to step up and propose either. You know, because a man who is really committed, he going to make that step because he know that he don't want to let you get away. Okay? So, that's just my personal opinion. Now, let me say this. Any woman that I know who decides to propose, I'm here for it. Okay? Like I said, it's personal for me. It's a no for me. I'm with it. If mo if one of my friend girls right now decides she want to propose to her man, I'm going to be there. I'm going to help her make it the best proposal you ever seen because everybody's different and we all have to accept each other's differences. Okay. I'm here for it. I'm here for anything great. I'm here for anything happy. Today is a new day. I love to see relationships working, no matter how it's working. Like I said once before in, in another one of my videos, men are staying at home these days. Women are out in the workplace. You got career moms and stay-at-home dads. I'm here for it. I love it. I love it because people are making a decision to make their family work no matter what the role is and who's playing the role. Okay, so I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. Okay? <laughs> you know, as long as your relationship is working, I, I, I'm down. You know, if you making it work, keeping everybody else out, I always say in marriage, keep folks out your business. So man, no matter what you are doing at your house, it ain't nobody else's business. If I come to your house and I see how your house is running and I see that it's working for you, I'm happy for you because it's working for you. It's not, may not be something that will work for me, but it's working for you. You know, a lot of people had a lot to say about me being a staying at, stay at home mom. I was a stay at home mom for almost 12 years. My husband worked. He take care. He took care of our family. We didn't beg anybody for anything. Okay, so I don't understand why people have so much to say about my situation when you're not contributing to it. So if I'm not putting money in your house, if I'm not contributing to nothing that you're doing, guess what? I shouldn't have anything to say about. So if your family is working, if women are out here proposing and it's working and your family work, working, the man said yes, everybody's happy, who else is happy? Me, I'm happy for you, okay? <laughs> uh, listen, I love, love, love happy relationships. 
working relationships. And every relationship is not perfect. We have some ups and downs. We got some getting to know each other to do. Because when you never lived together before, honey, and then you get married and you start living together, guess what? You're going to have some problems. Because you got two people who don't live alike bringing themselves together to try to fix it and try to work it out and try to make some type of arrangements about how we going to live together. So I'm here for it, y'all. But anyway, I don't have much more to say. I just wanted to talk about that. Melissa, I hope this video helps you and or anybody else on their outlook on women proposing to men. And girl, if you decide to propose to your man, call me, honey, because we're going to make that the best proposal anybody has ever seen. All right? But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are a new Nene to this channel, welcome. If you are old Nene, welcome back. All right? And share this video with everybody. And until next time, 